So I ended up at my parents' house, just stayed in a room, dark as possible, no, no music, no TV, uh, hardly ate. I went to a very deep depression. I just didn't want to be around anybody. Um, I, I was a real recluse for about 10 years. I felt like a failure and I pretty much given up on life. I just was just a burden and I was existing. And then that's when I started contemplating about taking my own life. And we came here to the Winter Sports Clinic and my life changed forever. You know, he was like a sponge. He was just getting everything coming in and watching everything and being real uh, attentive on the event. And, uh, you know, I, I could see the more you get in, put into this event, the more you get out of it. And you could see him blossom right during the week he was here. I was living on a little bit of time left before I got here. I uh, didn't know which day that I was going to check out. And it would have been by my own hands. And, and that's horrible to say because life's so precious. But and that's some of, you know, a lot of us veterans go through that after a, a significant injury. He was very quiet, very, very shy, didn't really want to say a whole lot. Today, the guy has a smile on his face, start to finish. He mentors the other veterans coming here. He gets involved in VA at his facility. He goes out, he's a spokesperson for rehab. He's just living his life now. A, a veteran has to be ready to accept the recovery process, and I wasn't ready. And then I came here and it opened my eyes and made me ready. He's a, I, I think, uh, would be a great mentor for this event, just coming here and being with the vets, because he's been through it, he's done it, he knows what, what to do. I'm experiencing a feeling life, and it all started here in the DAV and the Winter Sports Clinic, and I can't think of enough. He's everything this clinic stands for, and he takes whatever comes at him, and he turns whatever it is into something incredibly amazing.